So if you want to learn how to care for your black beauty stick insects as pets in the UK, then this video is for you. Stay tuned. So then, the black beauty stick insects, what a fascinating creature these are. Now these animals are extremely rare in the wild. The only place you can find these in the wild is in a tiny little 12 acre area in the Peruvian forests. And they were only discovered in 2005. Imagine how many other species come and go just like that. They just pop up in the uh, wild, nobody can see them, and then they become extinct dead easy. Now there's plenty of practices out there who are breeding these to keep these back in the society, to keep them there, to keep them thriving. What an absolutely fascinating creature these are with their jet black bodies, their beady yellow eyes, and their little red wings. They're a nocturnal sort of species in the wild. Now in captivity, you see them out and about all the time, but in, in the wild, they are a nocturnal species because their jet black coloration is great camouflage for when they're out in the Peruvian forest. They live off leaves. Now in captivity, they'll only eat privet. Most of the stick insects will eat brambles and stuff like that, but these will only eat privet. It's so hard to find privet these days they have one other defense mechanism they can curl their tail up and spray a little dirty smell from their tail and that'll scare off any predators now we know all that let's move on to how to keep these in captivity in the uk 2019 now here's the enclosure i'm going to use it's a tiny little exotero nano it's perfectly fine for the two that i'm going to be housing in here the enclosure size the minimum you want is two times the length of their body across and three times the length of their body up the substrate is a tropical mix loaded with isopods but what's going to be put inside we've got a nutshell just as a bit of decor some sticks for some surface area to climb on they can molt from that and of course the food we're going to be using privet because that's all we can find for them to eat in the uk now this stuff can be quite tricky to find when it's safe to make sure it's safe you've got to make sure there's no fertilizers no pesticides no dog urine no nothing like that and that's perfectly safe to feed them so now let's go ahead and build the enclosure what you want to do first is spray it down nice and moist they need a humidity level of between 70 and 90 percent so you've got to spray it down a good five times a week with this one then we'll grab our little sticks we'll stick them in now these ones they just oak lee oak sticks they hang off them they molt off them and it's just a bit of permanent surface area for them and then we'll start adding the decor we'll add in the nut leaf and all the privet for them to feed on what an absolutely stunning setup this is going to be now, if you want to do this just to get the eggs off them to sell the eggs on eBay, a lot of people do do that. Just simply use paper towel, keep it moist, and uh, that'll be a perfect substrate for them as well. I like the naturalis naturalistic, bioactive sort of look to them. So I use about 10 or, 10 or so strands of uh, privet. That'll last them about a week. The privet gets their moisture from the substrate, so it'll keep it nice and fresh in there for them. And then once a week, maybe twice a week, I'll update the privet, take up, take everything out, give it a nice good check over, stick some new privet in there, and they'll start eating again. Here's the finished enclosure with no um, stick insects in there. This is just what it looks like. How amazing is that? Proper foresty. It does look like the Peruvian forest in there. How amazing is that? They're going to absolutely love it in here. These are great for children. You can get them out, you can play with them, they can handle them. Nothing better than holding your own new pets. Check that out. There he is with the wings down. They're not flared up or anything. How amazing. Oh, there they go. They're flared up. How beautiful do they look? Now, I follow a few simple rules when I am handling these species. I'll only handle them every now and then, and that's simply because I don't want to stress them out. I don't want them to pass away. They are a beautiful species. They're nearly extinct in the wild, and I don't want to lose any. So these are absolutely amazing species. But when you do get them out for handling or to clean them out, you only really want to have them out for as little time as possible. You really don't want to stress them out. Here they are going back into their newly refurbished enclosure. How amazing! They're going to absolutely love this enclosure. Now, if you are enjoying this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does help. And if you are new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Now, for temperature wise and heating wise, we simply have these at slightly warmer than room temperature. 26 degrees we have this at. It's just an ambient temperature they seem to thrive on. Remember, you've got to try and replicate the Peruvian forest. Now, if you did want to sex these to tell whether yours are male or female, it's quite simple. The females get a bit bigger than the males. That is it, as simple as that. The females get to five to six centimetres long, while the males are four to five centimetres. But now this is a little top tip. If you've got any spare privet, just stab it into a little tub of compost and let them grow. They're not going to grow massively, but it'll keep them hydrated if you do need to use any to put in as a little bit extra.
I do hope you've enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I shall see you all next time.